Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on functions and specifically parent functions. This video is on step functions. A step function is a graph that looks like steps. It is a series of horizontal lines. The name of this uh, function is the greatest integer function, and that is what it looks like. So it is the greatest integer less than or equal to x. It's not rounding, which is what it's gonna look like at times. It's also not truncating, if you've heard that word. It's also going to look like truncating. It is specifically an integer less than or equal to x. So yet you're gonna to wanna to round, that's not what it is. You're gonna to wanna to truncate, that's not what it is. Let's look at what it is. So I'm gonna do a table of values. And this is going to be the function. which is the greatest integer function. I'm gonna start down at negative three. And when you just put in a single number into the function, it is the number. So negative three is specifically negative three. But if I put something in like negative 2.5, that's where things start to get interesting and never trust a teacher that says interesting. Negative 2.5 is also negative 3. And everything between negative 3 and negative 2 will become negative 3 up until we hit negative 2. And negative 2, of course, will become negative 2. So everything will stay at negative 3 up until negative 2, at which point we'll hit negative 2. And this is our first step. Even if we have negative 1.9999 with all of those nines. Again, this you're thinking, well, that of course is going to be negative two. That's rounding. But if we have negative 1.001, .001, this is also going to be negative two. All of this is going to go to negative 2 up until we hit 1. The same thing is going to happen on the other side. If I have a positive 0 0.5, which is right here, oh, I am sorry, I've been working off camera. Let me get it so it's just the graph that we see. 0 0.5 is going to become 0. Um, 1.5 is going to become 1. Even, you know, 2.999 Now you're thinking three, but remember, less than. Which means this is going to become two. So the negatives look different than the positives, which is where this becomes tricky. So that's why I wanted to do a good group of group of the negatives 
and I wanted to do several of the positives so you could see how the two look different. Always less than, what's less than negative two? Negative three. What's less than 2.9? Two. You're always going less than, less than, less than, less than. And this is how you get this thing that looks like a set of stairs. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.